Hey everybody, the Bang is back. Welcome to part 35 of Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars for the Super Nintendo, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now there's also the last part too, because it's going to have the ending as well. The Star Road is back to normal, and... Well, apparently Gino doesn't need to be here anymore. He can return back to the Star Road. Yeah, I've played this game before many times. I I know how this goes. There, all the stars are flashing around him. We're returning back to the star road. So that wishes can come true again. And apparently the mothership is coming to beam him up. And then he becomes a doll again. Well, he was originally a doll. Don't worry, he's not gone yet. His spirit is still lingering. Just to say goodbye to his friends one last time. Well, I kind of wonder what their wish is going to be, like uh, how to get out of this place. Because I didn't see any exit. There was an entry point. But then it led to a long way down. How did they get out of that place anyway? Just was never explained. Like, it was just never explained, but all of a sudden, here they are. They took the doll and everything. But then again, they did have to give it to Gaz. It's not, not even their doll. Oh, everything's back to normal. And that's it. That's Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars right there. Let's just watch the rest of this ending and see how everyone else is doing. Oh, Mallow returned home. That's always nice. Hey, looks like he got a little crown and everything. Oh, Garrow's getting back to work. And at Bowser's Keep, they're doing a fair bit of repairs, and Bowser's just noticing that Shy Guy took his Koopa Cruiser. Yeah, I think he's going to bring that back to Wart, at least try to anyway. And there's Johnny over there, watching at the sea and everything. Hope it doesn't dry up. And there's the four star right next to the big star's crotch. I didn't know Croco was a kind of a bit of a Yoshi, and he just got robbed. Oh, poor guy. The crook got robbed. How ironic. And Todowski is teaching music. Oh, there's Frog Fuchsius. Huh, no Lakitu? And there's the wedding of the century. Wow, that's a lot of sniffets. I didn't know Dodo was an ordained minister. As long as he doesn't touch any altar boys. Yeah, I said it. Thank you! You're welcome, game. It's a very nice cinematic there. Yoshi's right there, even though I only been around him for like once. Don't wink at me. And now we gotta start the parade of victory! Pretty soon I gotta start Donkey Kong 64 if I hadn't already. Oh, there's Luigi! Where the hell have you been, asshole? Like you weren't even at home. Like, the only appearance Luigi makes is at the ending. 
And he's the leader of the parade. What the hell? He's Baton Boy and everything. I never really got that. Why didn't Luigi have an in-game cameo? If you give an in-game in cameo to Link and even Samus, if you go to Mushroom Kingdom at the, the guest room at the inn, yeah, Peach is, I mean, Samus is there. But no Luigi, what the hell? Oh well, it's none of my concern at this point. But what should I do next for a side project? Maybe Operation C for the Game Boy, like a Contra game? As far as that goes, it's anyone's guess. I know I'm going to be super busy with Donkey Kong 64. Like, getting a full run at that. That's going to that's gonna take forever, but... I'm going to do it. It'll take a lot of parts, though. Yeah. But oh well, that's how it's done these days. Oh, poor Croco. You're going to regret that. Well, I like these floats are really well done. It's better than a rose parade. At least I hope there are floats and not actual people carrying them. They look so lifelike. Ow, did you just grab him in the eyes or something? Or in the beak? Oh, there's the Sniffits again, trying to catch another beetle. They're really terrible at that. It looks like Booster's wearing a diaper. Okay, so apparently the Sniffits caught the stuff from the from Croco and the Crook, and Booster stole the Koopa car, and Bowser's pissed, and the Beetles want them some blood. Oh, there's the Shysters. Look at the third and fourth one over there, showing off. I mean, look at them, doing front flips and back flips. There's Mac, Yuridovich, and Boyer there. Smithy with the blade. But where are the Axum Rangers? I'm guessing they died and never made it to the parade. What a shame. Shame they couldn't even make it to their own parade. Oh, there's Johnny again. Oh, nice. Got your shit all... Sh I mean, got your ship all lit up. <laughs> I almost said got your shit all lit up. Oh. Slip of the tongue there, guys. Slip of the tongue. The hell is up with these toads? I mean, look at their heads. They're glowing. That's that's that radiation there going to the shroom head. That's always fun. I mean, there's a lot of floats going on in this parade. I mean, they look really awesome, very well designed and everything. And at least they added like a lot of characters that you've seen in the game so far. Oh, there's Yoshi. Didn't really have much of a role though. As far as my next LP goes next to Donkey Kong 64, like I said, it could be Operation C, but I could change my mind at any given time. As far as much games go, like another game site that I'm going to upload to, like, not just Naked Gaming and stuff. I'll probably do the old Castlevania games there. Like, I've already done them, like, years ago. Maybe it's time I redid them there. So anyways, this is the Banga signing off, saying goodbye, Godspeed, stay tuned for my next Let's Play, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Even though one or two people probably haven't. Eh, they're lost anyway. Yeah, like I said before in a later part, or an earlier part, that if you bought plenty of fireworks in Moleville, you actually see a lot of designs taking place here with the fireworks. 
But it's a pretty expensive thing to do if fireworks are 500 coins each. Didn't really want to bother with it. In this case, it's just a mushroom because I only bought one firework. The end. Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, if you like leave this alone for like a very long time, you can hear like a classic theme. But you really think I'm going to extend this video by several minutes just so you can listen to that? You can look it up yourself. Oh, apparently it wasn't a few minutes. Yep, classic 1-1 theme from Super Mario Brothers. Ah, you've heard enough, see ya.